Middletown police were called to the area on reports of a man yelling and breaking glass. But when the officer arrived, that's when police say things got out of hand. A quiet morning in Middletown broken by the sounds of shattering glass in the Liberty Street neighborhood. Investigators say when police arrived, a man now identified as 52 year old Winston Tate approached the officer while holding some kind of blunt object. Police say Tate hit the officer, knocking them both to the ground. Police say Tate climbed on top of the officer and a struggle began. Investigators say that's when the officer shot Tate in self-defense. Tate was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The officer was also taken to the hospital to be treated and was released. Neighbors we spoke to who did not want to go on camera say this man has had confrontations with other neighbors before and has also had run-ins with the police prior. Fox 61 learning Tate pled guilty to a 2023rd degree robbery and was convicted and sentenced earlier this year. He was released in June while out on probation according to court records. After police opened the area, our cameras captured a better glimpse of the scene. Windows busted out with a number of beer cans scattered around the property with the police search warrant left on the front door of his home. And in the driveway, the scattering remains of first aid supplies. Tate is facing multiple charges, including assault and interfering with police. He's being held on a half a million dollars bond while recovering in the hospital. Now, Middletown police have yet to release the identity of the officer involved. Meanwhile, the Office of the Inspector General is leading the investigation. At Middletown, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.